in general. Uh, a lot of people will mistake water condensation on the ground from their AC system, especially during the summertime because it's extremely humid, as a leak and it's not. It's just common natural condensation from the AC drain. If you see brown or any other colored fluid, generally that means that you have a leak of some sort. Red, brown, yellow. Uh, we check, uh, we're looking at, uh, we're looking up in the engine bay from here. And we're looking at, we're looking for leaks. The black part you see there is a valve cover gasket and you'll notice the, the metal part, that's the head, the uh, cylinder head. We're looking right there to see if there are any oil leaks and there doesn't appear to be any. Um, this is a transmission. This is a transmission mount. This is transmission. The transmission looks to be dry. It has no leaks. Uh, we're working our way down here. This would be, this is a, um, a silencer or, or a muffler of sorts. Uh, it's referred to as a resonator. Uh, we're looking above that, which is the drive shaft. We're shaking that. We're making sure that that's not loose or causing any problems. I usually like to bang on these to make sure they're not rattling around or making any noises. Also, you can check to see when you hit them that way. They're, you'll notice that they are suspended. They have rubber mounts. If one of these is broken or bottomed out, when you hit it, it will make a noise because it will bottom out against the car or against the, uh, the body of the vehicle. Working our way back. Again, we're checking. These are electrical connectors. These are O2 sensors. Uh, the O2 stands for oxygen. They're measuring the amount of oxygen in the exhaust stream. That's AP regulation. We have one here. We have one here. Um, we're moving our way back. This is referred to as the rear lower subframe. It supports the rear of the uh, vehicle as well as uh, the suspension for the vehicle and the rear differential or final drive assembly. And everything looks to be in good shape. A little bit of rust, but that's normal. Everything's, we're not making any noises. Everything looks to be good. Now don't be, don't be concerned by that. That's a normal condition. The rear usually is a little softer than the front. We look good, we'll shake it. Nothing seems to be loose. And then finally, um, we're looking at the rear of the car. We wind up here and bang on it, make sure it's nice and nice and suspended and we're not banging up against anything. And that's, that's pretty much it for the undercar uh, inspection.